Aperture I wrote during the evacuation. Uh, I, was, I was stuck up in Salem, Illinois, where I grew up, a really small town, and um, uh, a lot of my friends moved or were in various stages of uh, married with children and, and different things. And uh, it was a strange experience being back there after living in New Orleans for five years. And uh, I kept telling people that I, I felt like a ghost. I felt like a different person. And uh, and. Um, you know, you just, you, you do so much to do what you do in New Orleans and then you're thrown into a different place and I just felt like a ghost of my former self and I wanted to write something that, uh, that kind of played on dual personalities of like, you know, not knowing who you are or where you are and uh, that's where Aperture came out of and, uh, and the basic idea is uh, he's, the main character is kind of in a witness protection program and uh, he, he thinks he's being watched by bugs and uh, comes, comes to find out that uh, he just might be. You know, he sent it to us and we're all like, how are we gonna do this? You know, it's bugs and all this stuff. How is this gonna happen? And, you know, Jason put a lot of time in really looking at it and, and how is this possible? And he made it possible, you know? He was able to get these insects. You know, he was able to get good actors. You know, he was able to get a full crew, you know, that was willing to do it. You know, in New Orleans right now, there's such an energy and such a vibe of independent filmmaking like this show right here you know like you guys i mean it's and it's been here for a while but i think right now the energy is just really big and everybody wanted to help on it you know everybody was like i'll take those days off work this sounds like fun you know and everybody after reading the script you know saying you're ambitious enough to even try to do this with little cash and all this stuff well if you're nuts enough to try that i'm nuts enough to go along with you I noticed right from the first pre-production meeting the, the cast that he had assembled and a lot of the crew members that were starting to come together that this was, was going to be a real magical project. It was going to be something completely different, uh, much more different than Jesus and Charlie, um, you know, and it was really getting stepped up uh, a, a couple notches. Aperture, I think, is going to be what, like for Jason and for me and for Victor, what we've been talking about for years now. You know, we've been sitting in bars going, you know, PA and Jobs are going, we're going to make this happen. We're going to make our movie and it's going to be good, you know. And, and this is finally, I think, getting to that point, you know. We've all had enough experience in real productions and we've had enough experience on our own productions that I, I'm, this is very exciting. And, um, and I, I can't wait to see how it turns out. I originally tried to start the group, uh, the New Orleans Underground Film Organization, No UFO. Uh, we had a fundraiser about two weeks before um, before Hurricane Katrina hit, and uh, we were going to have a film festival. Just uh, I think it was supposed to be the day after um, that the storm actually hit, so it didn't happen. But um, I'd just been trying to organize filmmakers. There's a lot of talent in New Orleans that's uh, and and. I think it's just a matter of like organizing these people and like giving them projects. So the goal is to start doing a monthly film festival, showcasing what uh, what New Orleans filmmakers or Louisiana filmmakers were doing, and also you know get them networking with each other so that they can start 
working on films together. And that's uh, Aperture, I'd say, is probably the first no UFO film. Time Code NOLA is supported in part by the Louisiana Division of the Arts, the Arts Council of New Orleans, Arts Communications, and by people like you.